Today, I am on my way to Pura Ulundanu Beratan, a pristine temple in the region of Bali. The Ulundanu Beratan temple is famous picturesque landmark and a significant temple complex located on the western side of the Beratan lake in Bedgul, central Bali. It's about one and a half hours drive from Ubud and two and a half hours drive from Denpasar. So I reached this place and I'm packing my bike and so this is the lake, beautiful lake. On the lake, Bharatan is the second largest lake in Bali and is the source of irrigation for rice fields and plantations across the entire Bedgul region. The cost of the entrance ticket is 50,000 IDR and is the ticketing center and this is the beautiful temple complex. This amazing Balinese temple is located about 1200 meters above sea level in Lake Beratan, pretty much in the middle of Bali. Ulundanu Beratan is the island's most iconic sanctuary, sharing the scenic qualities with the seaside temples of Uluwatu and Tanalot. The temple was built in 17th century in worship of the main Hindu god trinity Brahma, Vishnu and Shiva, as well as the lake goddess Devi Danu. The sight and the cool atmosphere of the Bali uplands have made the lake and this temple a favorite sightseeing and recreational spot as well as a frequently photographed site. When I visited it was almost completely foggy. Entering the temple gates instantly noticeable are the typical Balinese architectural features and the tiered shrines. The floating temple complex is comprised of four group of shrines including the prominent Linga Petak shrine to its east. The area surrounding the temple is believed to have been a site of worship and center for religious rituals since the Megalithic period. So this is the beautiful pristine temple. This historic site of the Mengui kingdom is a home to a megalithic artifact in the form of a sarcophagus and a stone tablet. And it was almost covered with a mist when I visited. The name Beratan comes from the word Brata which means to conduct oneself to fill the nine primary needs in life. was rebuilt by the king of Mengui one Gusti Agung Putu in 1633 with a mixture of Hindu and Buddhist architectural styles. Despite its age, the temple remains clean and in good condition, well kept by the local community. Ulundanu temple is one of the icons of the islands of Bali and is pictured on the 50,000 rupiah bill in Indonesian currency. The smooth reflective surface of the lake surrounding most of the temple's base creates a unique floating impression that when you see on a clear day you can just feel the temple is floating on the lake. When I visited it was completely covered with mist and fog and at some time the mess disappeared and uh, I got a chance to capture the beautiful temple. This temple is so unique in Balinese architecture and it's one of the most pristine temples in Bali. When I visited the atmosphere was really lovely but it was covered with fog around everywhere. You cannot see the mountain which is at the back and people come here to take the beautiful picture of this lovely temple of Bali. There is some religious ceremony and festivals going around and you can see the performance of the Balinese women dancing in the traditional Balinese dance. This dance is so unique in its style and you can see them dancing for the music of the Gemelan Orchestra which is also another unique music in Indonesia. So I really got a chance to admire this beautiful Balinese dance uh, as when I was visiting there it was a 
temple festival so other performance is taking place even though it's a slightly drizzling around and it was foggy around everywhere the culture of Bali is really beautiful and it's really amazing one which you can never see in any parts of the world The one that you are looking right now is one of the temples inside the complex and this is another temple which is also located inside the complex and some of the pictures that I took of the temple that turned really really awesome and you must visit this place when you are in Bali although it's quite a bit far from Ubud and the city center but it's really worth a visit because this is an iconic temple in Bali which you will never forget in your life it's so pristine and so tranquil but you need to say is the look that uh, you are not got stuck up in the fog because uh, you cannot see the temple when the mist, mist of fog comes down so you need to wait for the mist to clear and you can capture the beautiful views the lawns inside this temple are really serene and it's well maintained and with the real authentic uh, tradition of the Balinese architectural and styles so it's uh, like a memorable trip for me in Bali so I am leaving this temple with a fond of beautiful memories of the Balinese temple subscribe to my youtube channel and if you like my videos please do share it thank you